Good morning. Good afternoon. <laughs> Whenever you're getting the chance to watch this. The talk I'm going to do for um, this video pod is about social masking. Um, social masking is massive. So I'm just going to touch on what to do when you're working with a child. So this might be your child or the child that's in your setting when you're trying to help them to remove that mask. As you know, social masking is a great coping mechanism to anxiety, to stress, to feeling unsafe. We only have two defaults. Are we safe or not? And when we're in disassociation, when we're masking, how we feel. We don't feel safe. We don't feel safe in our body. We don't feel safe being us. We don't feel safe in the environment that we're in. We don't trust whoever it is in front of us. And we might look okay. We might be engaging, we might be talking, but we're holding on. We are holding on. And that mask comes off. And as adults, it can come off and we go home and we have a drink of wine and a bottle of wine and we watch Netflix for six hours. <laughs> as a child, we come home from masking all day at school. We don't, we don't know those are the patterns of behaviours. We don't know, oh, we can go to the gym for two hours and disassociate that way. We don't know about the, the other ways of, you know, working all night. Great way of avoiding what you need to feel about something. So it comes out aggression. It comes out um, a lot of the time is challenging behavior. A lot of the time because it's so, it's so raw to them. So raw, those feelings. So how do we help them remove that mask? Slowly is how we help them, very slowly. If you imagine that you have a social mask on now, that is your coping mechanism to life. And it's great, to be fair, you're functioning, you might be holding down a job, you might have children, you might have your own business, might be very successful, might have a lot of money. But what you do realize is you don't really have a lot of fun. Yes, you go out, you're sociable, you mix people, cocktails, gin night. But you don't enjoy it as much. It's not as much fun as it used to be. And you realize that that social masking, that masking that you've, you've used as your coping mechanism actually isn't serving you very well. Not, not really, that's not life, is it? And as a child, that social mask is just to get them through school, because school is an expectation, through the, the pressures of peers, because everybody wants to be liked, social connection, we want to be liked. But if we are disassociated, we actually have no idea what's going on. Our rational learning, thinking brain is not engaged. So we don't really know much of of what's happening in our experience. And sometimes things come out of our mouths that we haven't, you know, well, I did that, you know, what if I say that? I didn't mean it. Because you were, you were disassociated from it for, for reasons that your body felt that it was the right thing to do at that time. So when we start to take that mask off, we need to understand that we'll start to feel something. 
And we know our brain doesn't like change. Our brain likes the comfy chair, the control of, of knowing predictability. It doesn't like being forced to do new things. And it will release chemicals to say that to you. <laughs> no, no, you're not gonna change. You're gonna be exactly the same. <laughs> and so when you start to do techniques of getting back into your body, it will feel different. It will feel unsafe, don't like it, don't wanna do that again. It will be negative. So let's say you decide that one of the techniques to do is breath work. Okay, so, you know, most of the time, if you are somebody who wears a social mask, you are breathing in your chest. And you're breathing in your chest probably quite quickly because you are living, your body is, is in a different mode and you're just getting through. You're in survival mode, you're just getting through. There's no big, nice breaths going through you. So when you start doing those breaths, those big breaths, and you start doing those really intense episodes of breathing to feel back in your body, to feel what it's like to expand your lungs, to feel what it's like to make your chest expand and feel bigger. When you start to engage in that, you're gonna, your brain's gonna go, no, 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 I don't like it. Take that feeling, take it, recognize it and just let it happen. Think to yourself, fine, that's just my brain putting in a, in a chemical emotion. You know, emotions are just chemicals. It's just doing that just to make sure I feel safe. You know, thanks, that's great, but actually it's not serving me anymore. It's not making, I don't wanna be disassociated from my reality. I want, to, I want to be connected to people. I want to be connected to my family, whatever it might be. I want to feel joy again. You know, what's that feel like? And I don't mean dopamine hits of um, things that you know you can do yourself. <laughs> we could all do that. You know, I know buying something off Amazon, those nice big hits, they're easy. They're easy. What's hard is sitting and engaging with somebody and being bored. Being bored is really hard when you're somebody that wears a social mask. It doesn't feel nice. You don't know what's gonna happen. You can't predict it, you can't control it. Your brain's going, I, I don't sit here and do nothing. I have to do something. I have to be moving. I, have, I need dopamine. So be aware that change is going to happen and change is good. You're up here on a five furthest away from your true self, your true conscious self, your furthest away. You're up here on autopilot and you'll slowly start, this is resilience, slowly dip into the four. Four's frustration, four's anger. Four might be tears. Then you start going to three. Three's anxiety, panic attacks. These may happen and that's okay. It's a feeling, it's okay. So when you're working with a child and you're doing your breath work and they're dipping their toe and they're going down this scale they are going to respond. Their body's going to respond. And they might start running around. They might start shouting. They might, there's going to be a reaction. It's the only way to describe it. Every child is different. There's going to be a reaction. And we just have to be aware 
that that's okay. A reaction means change. Reaction means something's different. And that's good because we're here to rewire. We're here to do that repetitive. That's a good sign. Now, what can happen is they go, I'm not doing that. Don't like that. I'm not doing that again. I'm bored of this. I'm bored. It's boring. Mm, yeah, I know. <laughs> boring is good. Boring is grounding. Boring is being in your body and letting, doing nothing and letting life be. That's okay. But we do have to go slow. Rewiring takes time. So that is this kind of coming to the end of this video pod. So it is being aware that we all have a mask. We all have at times. It's how long we wear it for and being aware that children might be wearing one. And if they are, and you might not know, you might be working with a child and you didn't know. You could see that there were behavioral issues, but you didn't know it was masking because they were really good at it, really good at holding it together. And when you start to allow them to open up, there's a lot of things that are gonna come out, spilling out, and that's good. Finding that way, finding that way that works for them. They need to welcome that emotion in. What does that emotion need? Does it need a hug? Does it need to be heard? It always needs to be heard. Always needs to be heard. If I have a child in front of me that's crying because they're scared, what am I going to do? I'm going to give them a big hug and tell them everything's going to be okay. I'm there for them. Isn't that what we do? Not... So not, not to hide it away and not tell somebody because they're embarrassed and, and then come home and, and then let it out. That's not the right thing. Okay, end of my video pod. Take care, stay safe.